So, so mm -hmm. Martin, give, give, yeah. us, give us a constitutional position on this matter. You've heard all the arguments. You've heard the legal argument. You've heard the yes. religious basis. Is this even possible, looking at where we are right now? And what does the constitution say? Yeah, so absolutely. It's possible to do an amendment if we are minded to do it. Because we are looking at Article 63, Clause 2, mm -hmm. right? And then, so that's the one that sets the time frame for the presidential election. Says it shouldn't be earlier than four months, yeah. okay? And then it shouldn't be later than one month. So it is that provision that the Afarijan took and just opposed it with Article 112, Clause 5, the one about the MPs, which says that for MPs, the election can take place within 30 days to the end of their tenure. So when they looked at it, they saw that 7 December, which is the last day for the presidential elections to begin, and which also is the first day for parliamentary elections to begin, could be used so that we'll have both elections and satisfy the constitution. Now, the second point is that the constitution allows, the, sorry, Article 112, it's not entrenched. So that's the main argument. Because it is not entrenched, it can be amended before the elections. If you look at the amendment procedure in Article 291, this can be done far before the election because I keep saying that the way to analyze 291 is that look inside it, look at the procedure. What are the big ticket items? When we check, we find two big ticket items. That's the provisions that would take a lot of time to uh, observe. One, they, there is a requirement that there should be two publications in their gazette. And those gazette publications should be three months ahead, uh, sorry, apart. Mm. Three months apart of each other. So if you publish today, the second publication should be three months uh, from today. Today is what? Um, what's 17th? 17th yeah. January. Yeah, so three months. So that was 17th <clears throat> April. That's when you can do the second publication. Then also, when you read 291 further, after it's been laid, the speaker must refer the bill to the Council of State. The Council of State also has a maximum of 30 days. Hopefully, they will finish earlier. So, but you for now, just for calculation purposes, it must stay there for a maximum of uh, 30 days. So if you add the one month to the three months already, on the Gazette publication, you get four. Then also, we'll look at the timelines within parliament, like the first reading, second reading, the going to the committee, committee, all those things. They can all be done within the remainder of the six and a half months we have. We'll be well within time.